at uh, 635, something like that. This is last week. Yeah, and I think there's a, we have minutes, minutes from the, uh, first. the February 28th meeting, right? Um, correct. Okay. That's why I guess I did give you. Yeah. So you have the minutes. Uh, we can take a couple minutes, take a look at the minutes and uh, hmm. You indicate that I'm getting answers for the committee's concerns on the capital. You did. You gave it to us. Okay. You gave us that summary. Right? Okay. I thought okay. you you gave us a breakdown of the, the um and maybe that's well, what, that's what I when we talked about contracted services. No, you no, this is, this is Franklin Tech Capital. Everybody, everybody oh, have one of these? Did I put them yeah. in there? You said that I was going to get answers, but I don't remember. Yeah, yeah so maybe that's correct. But that's all right. No, we no, no, we right. have answers anyway. Who's SP? Select board. Correct. Thank you. Let's get down this hole here. Correct. So, so it was voted previously, and then the select board added to it. Uh, and they decided to hold off on re-voting it. They decided to leave it with the with the figure that was discussed. That was the Board of Health um, expense budget that uh, Bruce was just asking about. Okay. Can I have a motion? I can motion to approve the match. And I'll second it. Move to second it. If there's no if there's no further discussion, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Extensions? Six five zero five one zero five zero one. Okay. Who made the motion? I'm sorry. John made the motion. I second. I second. Sorry. Okay. Keep keep your head on it. Stay with the program. Again, very nice. Stay with the you. program. Yeah, as usual. Nice job. Okay, Thanks. what, uh, does everybody have this? Yep. Yes. Yes. Yep. This is a new one, right? Yep. Yes. All right. I put together a summary of where we're at if you want to discuss it now or later. Or What's that? How much money we have available after budgets and capital warrants and Let's, let's, if there's, let's, there are a couple of these items that we need to take up. Okay, whenever, I don't care. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But I, it, no, I want to do that tonight. Uh, so, I assume we're not going to talk about the, uh, or, no, the ones in P. Contracted services? Correct. Or okay. the, or the planner position, or the planner position expenses. Okay. Um, you're waiting for Wendy on those. Um, Deerfield Elementary School, you're waiting for the hearing on that one. Yep, yeah, and that's been rescheduled till next Tuesday. Tuesday night Tuesday. at 6. Yeah. At 6 o'clock, I think. It's, it's in your packet. Hmm? It's the last page of your packet. Last page yeah. of your packet. Yeah. It's the notice that, notice it's, that it's been rescheduled. Okay. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, um, so really, we're down to the Frontier Regional School and Frontier Transportation. Those are the numbers that were given to you the other night that the um, uh, that the school committee had voted on. Yeah, well, we're talking about frontier, or we'll talk about schools. Uh, Patty spoke to me before the meeting last night about getting together with the committee and uh, talking about their budgets. Do you want to do that? We do. They've already voted. Do we want to talk with those about it? They always do that. Yes, it's not. Last time they anything. went and voted well, before we even showed up. Well, we, I mean, I understand we offered a, a meeting prior to the public hearing. We didn't accept it. But since they voted the budget, what are we going to do? Do you want to talk with them about their budget? You're talking about Frontier or Frontier. the elementary school? Both. 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 Well, Deerfield. We could, but we'll, we'll well, have the public hearing again. They're going to vote their budget on they're Tuesday. They're going to vote their budget on Tuesday. At the public hearing. So, so if we well, have 
We could just be at the I don't know here. Never. Well, uh, we will be there, but I, you know. I'm not sure what we want to talk about. But maybe that's the point. What do we well, want to talk I, about? I guess, I, you know, I would like to address the issue of, you know, I mentioned it last night, which essentially is where, where do they Where do they think they're going to get the money from? I think you did a great money. job on that. Thank you. And, and I think we need to I think we need to spend some time with the school committee and with the administration to see if we can get them to understand that there's there's a reason that we ask the budgets committed to and half the and and you know I'm more than willing to sit down and lay out you know the revenue side of the picture for them and say look this is it and and there's a reason for one. Number two, I would like them to get the, the budget to us a little earlier. On the other hand, how can we complain since we still have some of our own municipal budgets that we haven't addressed yet as well? I mean, I agree with you, Skip, that we should meet with them, but I think it's a new point at this point. I would like to have all four towns meet with them and have that discussion. I, well, if we yeah. can arrange that, I'd be more than happy to do that. You're talking yes, Frontier, course. right? Bruce? Frontier in, well, then Deerfield will uh, do the it on the, the Generally, budgets, the elementary budgets. Last uh, several years, the Deerfield elementary budget's been about 3%. And I think that's Which is good. That's acceptable for, because we can afford that. Yeah. The elementary has increased 287 mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I have, that's, so the only thing we can do is go listen to them and say thank you. They listen to us. Or not to us the I, I think but you know, it's not sustainable. I mean, that no, two percent next that. year is we're looking at. But by two point eight percent, seventy five percent of we that. We can go up two and a half percent for the uh, for their portion of the budget, but we also get new growth every year. Yeah, but their budget will go up just in salaries. So that's, that's you heard that. Well, you, chair, said that, you said that last year too. You heard, yeah. you heard that. But they reduce chair. they reduce operating expenses. What make it? Well, well, you heard, you heard that from the chair the other night at Frontier. He said the budget was salary, 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 salaries. He kept repeating it. And I guess, I guess. Uh, one and that means is, you have to turn around and lay off people. Uh, well, one question is I, I'm still struggling with, and I'd have to go through the numbers now, but 169 school choice kids. Yes. Yeah, that, oh, yeah, I didn't bring that school choice. But it was no. It was, it was high. It was, it was high. Like 100, 120 20 something. something. Yeah. Whether it's 120 or 160, 160 yeah, I think. But the other thing, it, that that was that number was bad enough. But it was the sending for the right. charter schools. Right. Which was the they were sending them out at almost right. twenty thousand, about eighteen thousand dollars a piece. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, you look at that number, and that is absolutely mind boggling. There was a major discussion on that. Oh, mind boggling. Oh, I know. There's not much they can do about it. Oh, yeah, but it's, you know, you, you only take 5,000 in, between 5,000 and 6,000 in, and yet you're going to pay out 18,000. I know you can't do anything, but that's, but you know, if you took that out of the budget, everybody would be, you know, flush. I, mean, you know, I, think, like, the, I think the suggestions that, that Matt made last night. Yeah. I, I didn't know last night. Oh, okay. And, and the town administrator from Conway said, you know, the only way you're going to change this is through the state and federal funding. Well, state and federal funding, and then looking at at, at uh, making it, whether you call it an appeal or what you call it, to the sixth grade parents, and then to you know eighth grade parents uh, who were looking at you know charters, sending their kids to charter schools. Look, the money that goes out to charter schools. Well, that's what the, the um, principal says he does currently. He well, with we need to find out. I think he, the, I don't remember the number, but it, it was a substantial number. 27 or something from this one. Uh, going out. And, and it's like, why are you sending your kids to charter schools? What is there about size? The, well, what is there about this, this, this school system? that makes you want to send your kids out of it. Is there it's something way of that teaching, we can... It's my impression. I don't know. I mean, from people that I know that sent their kids to charter school, mm -hmm. in Greenfield and Montague, it's the size of the classroom, for one. 
it's the 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 way that the children well, learn she, she, is another way. Is mm -hmm. another mm -hmm. school mm -hmm. choice. Um, I mean, I think your parents say that this is the right. kids can't mean, learn in in the existing sending. school like charter. I think it's I think that's and I think that's incumbent upon the administration to do. Uh, I think what really when you look at a hundred and thirty choice in charter students out of five hundred six hundred that need mm -hmm. I'm not going to make sure I don't want to correct here. Oh, yeah. Um that need sped assistance. That's that's a large number of students. Percentage wise, and and that one. So the question is, I think the choice is being made, and it's the parents' choice, and I don't think they're going to change their mind. That's my gut feeling. No, I didn't say change. I like. I think I think the funding has to be is where the issue is. Parents should be able to send their children wherever they want to go, but we need to be funded correctly. Oh yeah, there's no question about it. You know the five five thousand dollars. Yeah, that was what they. That's what they started with. If when school, the school choice started, no, if, right, and it's never increased if, after all these years. If we had that's a match, ridiculous. Well, if charter was the, whatever we paid out for charter, we got for <coughs> school choice. Yeah, it'd be fine. Hell yeah, that would be fine. That's but that's that's legislative. Right. That's nothing we're going to do here. Yeah, we're not going to change anything here. But you can you can keep an eye on school choice though the numbers on school choice because if your numbers get larger than just backfilling classes then you're running a deficit you're subsidizing because if you're getting receiving five thousand dollars and you're spending eighteen thousand to educate so they said last time. and right and you have more school choice than just backfilling classes where you have numbers enough where you're it comes down but to are, are you future. are you creating three or four. are you creating school choice numbers to keep staff? Is is you know so you can take a look at that. The uh, the thing you got to keep in mind with school choice and, and we don't have the numbers. Uh, how many school choice kids do they get on an annual basis that come out of the? sixth grade the elementary schools right in sixth grade and they go to frontier frontier at that point has no choice they have to take those jobs yeah. they go there right the question is how many other kids do they take in yeah. do they take in other right. kids and i don't know so that's i think that's an that's an issue that's something that you know, would be worth talking with right well i think it's i think it's something to look and, and see as far as cost average you know Where's that? Where's that breakoff point where all of a sudden you have the taxpayers of Deerfield, which happened over in the elementary school three, four years ago? You had the taxpayers of Deerfield subsidizing the school choice students. Company. We, school, we choiced in whatever it was, fifteen or sixteen kids in the kindergarten, and a classroom full of school choice kids, kindergarten school choice kids, which carried forward all the way through. Which carries forward for the next 13 years, including the seven years at the elementary and six years at. Uh, and then all the siblings. Right. Well, no, they don't necessarily have, have to. Right. right. Now? They have that option. That's, that's up, that's up right. to the school. But when you take a look at that number and you figure $5,000 per student, even 16 students, you can't even cover the staff and all the benefits. For that money, the the cost of the you know, assuming you get a seasoned teacher mm -hmm. with the benefits, mm -hmm. uh, forget the cost of heating the building, forget the cost, the administrative costs. You know, it eats up the entire salary and benefits for that for the right. teacher. And, and then if you have in that classroom uh, an aide or other, mm -hmm. you know, so okay, so we've we've got. Uh, the frontier budget. Uh, I think it, it's worth at least spending a few minutes talking about it. We decide whether we want to vote up or down or postpone. It is a it's another four point six percent increase. Five 
Five point it ends up being 5.39 with the two uh, budgets together, the yeah. uh, transportation and the school. Yeah. So what are your what are your thoughts? I agree with Bruce, it's just not sustainable. They're going to be reducing operating and they're, they're, they're using the majority of their school choice money in the reserves. Then they're down 146000 mm -hmm. next year. Well, they, what's going to happen? Right, exactly. Uh, it's going to be a big, big chunk of the self Of course it's going to be. I know. And, you know, and, and depending on the number of students, how many students Deerfield has, if we have two more students, we could be at 10% increase. It's all based on number of students coming in. And a five-year rolling average, is that what it was? It's a five-year rolling average. I'm not I'm not exactly sure how the uh the you said re, re, reset in two thousand seventeen. There's a minimum yeah. contribution that uh, yeah, that's the state and that and then it's it's then on top of that. And exactly. Yeah. It's actually down a uh, percentage. If I'm reading this right thing, if I'm reading this, maybe not. What's the difference between Union 38 cost percentage and Frontier Region assessment? Union 38 is the, the elementary school as well. That's the well, elementary school, yeah. The Union 30, so, well, they broke that out. That's the administrative budget, I think they broke out. Is that what they're doing? Yeah. Because Union, the, the elementary school is just us, right? No, right. Except for admin. No, except for admin, which they broke out in that, in that chart. Right. That's why they give different percentages. Mm -hmm. uh, the Frontier Regional, five years ago, we were 44.2%. Now we're 48.6%. Yeah, the percentages haven't been changed. It's just the budget's increased. No, percentage. There were assessors going up four percent, right. and that's based on that's student that, yeah. right? Based student on student enrollment. enrollment. Yeah. yeah. So if you have an increase in students or a decrease, that's but I mean that's part of the reason for the increase. Right. Yeah, it's going to fluctuate. So yeah, I mean, the, if they had a three percent overall increase, we we saw it was the end of two and a half percent more. What? Huh? The overall budget increase was three percent, three point oh nine, from Frontier. Yeah, it's in there someplace. That's three point oh nine. Right, I believe that's right. So we're we're being asked to pay five point three two of that three hundred thousand dollars. Right, based right. on our, number, percent, our percentage. Right, based right. on number of students. Because of students. Right. So the increase in ours is because of the students. Yeah, I don't have the budget with me. I'm sorry. I, and about our ratio. You have to take a look at it for a minute. Um, yeah, the, over, the overall budget went up 4.61% yes, for Frontier. The, and in some towns, percent. like Waitley had a decrease. Um, yeah. Conway had like a 7 point something percent increase. Deerfield had a 5.39% increase. I don't remember what Sunderland's was. Well, I'm what page you got? On the last page, I'm on 53, which is the budget. It says 18 to 19 including operating and transportation is 3.09 and then it shows um, on the page prior to that it shows how that we get assessed on 50 if you look at this page 48 um, page 50 of 54 yeah yeah that's, that's, that's your assessment, that's your assessment. The, it's the assessments of the town 5.39 percent our increase. And Conway is, is 7.23% mm -hmm. increase for the total of 4.46. What does that include that page 53 doesn't include? I don't know. I didn't, I didn't make a copy of 53 because I knew 54 was the one I was looking for. <laughs> well, 53 says that. Or 50, I mean. It says from 18 and 19, their budget is only 3.9%. That's what they talked about last night. When they talked on page. Oh, I see. Okay. I do that. On, when they talked about the, um, on page 
12. Oh, sure, because it, this that's their overall budget, but the assessments to the towns was up 4.61 percent. Yes, that's, yeah. that's correct. But the overall budget's up 3.09. 3 There's more students going. Is that the reason? Unless it's charter students, unless it's only choice students? And that's the only way that that could increase, I believe. The total budget went up 3.09 percent, and that's reasonable. And then the extra hit we took was because of the extra students and our increased percentage. Yeah. Right. That's correct. So well, knowing that, then I'm going to make a motion that we accept uh, item 312-5400, yeah. Country Regional Schools, with uh, $3,771,696. There's a motion. Do we have a second? I'll second for discussion. Okay. Uh, I'm looking at the number that says 4.61 percent. That's that's the assessment to the towns. That's the increase the in the assessments. Yes. But that is the increase in the assessments to the towns. Right. Yeah. Uh, Why does the increase in the assessment go up more than the percentage? Well, because, for example, chapter 70, percentage of chapter 70 funding right. only went up a half a percent. Right. Okay. Uh, they used $11,000 less out of their E&D account, their free cash account. So that went down about 7%. Regional transportation, on the other hand, did go up 28%. Revolving transportation was eliminated, and I don't know why that. So that went down 100%. Yeah. <coughs> Which gave you a net decrease in transportation. Okay. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, they said there was no credit this year for some reason. Mm -hmm. We didn't meet the number of students. Or oh, okay. Hmm. I mean, it was a lot of information was. The charter no, was the schools don't give credits. No, this is the state credit. The state we, gives us a transport money to the transportation fund, and since we didn't meet whatever threshold that we, the state said we had to meet, we don't get a credit this year. That's what I understood. Look at look at the fifty-eight pages. Transportation fully fifty-eight annual. pages of the budget is not easy. They promised they were going to do that, and they never they have. Never they never do on the regional transportation. <laughs> they always shortchange the regional <laughs> oh, no, rip off the transportation. I mean, the increase is, I was wanted to say last night, the increase in the 3% three, uh, three, oh, three percent increase, um, when they, they started on page um, 12, they showed how things went up and down. Mm -hmm. Well, when you looked at anything that's salary, salary related. What page are you on? 12? 12. Uh, yeah, are you. I'm just saying, it was about 60, 65% of those, of the increase is based on salary, <coughs> salary benefits. <coughs> we kind of retirement. Um, then you have minimal increases on operating issues and reductions in some operating yeah. costs to keep the budget down. So the increases, you know, when it says they had increase in 2.5% increase mm -hmm. negotiated and it shows $106,000 and that's only 1% of the 3.09, but that really is 45% of the total number. Yeah. I hear what you're saying. Yeah. So when you look at the steps, it was only a half a percent increase, mm -hmm. 56, but that was like 20%. It's what, for, yeah. Of the $300,000. But their total wages. So, so next year, if they don't have any of these decreases in operating budget, $70,000, $70, their budget automatically is gonna go up. Yep. By at least the, the negotiated fees Negotiated uh, increases and the steps. And the steps, right. Both. Then the other thing that they negotiated, which, which I think was not very well explained last night, is they renegotiated their contract for their medical insurance. Mm -hmm. 
And that was a $60,000 increase, approximately. And this is the same as ours. But we didn't, we, we didn't negotiate with town employees, did we? There's no new negotiation. Did no. we give the town employees any money to help them with their health insurance? Any more money? No. No. But the, the school did. Uh, I doubt that they changed their percentage. They changed something because it was an increase of that total insurance increase of $110,000. Some of that is is due to the renegotiation of their health insurance part of their contract. Has here what it has here increase in health insurance waivers. Yeah, um, and it's got a thousand thousand dollars. Sorry, uh, we really hate to leave this discussion, but I really have to. You're not used to being up this late. After no, <laughs> no, I have another committee that I have to. Oh, your bylaw committee? No, CPC. No, C yeah. Oh. oh. You're on the CPC now? No. But uh -oh. There's some CPC. Oh, good. Straighten them up. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you. Bruce. No. Thank you. Bruce. Yeah. Okay. Does anybody yeah. know what the increase in health insurance waivers are? I, I would yeah. assume that's the money that they give people that don't take their insurance. They give a thousand dollars to a person that doesn't take that. So if it went up a thousand, so, 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 so if one person they, said, "Fine, I'm going on my husband's insurance, right, or my spouse's insurance." Yeah, oh, they, they get a thousand dollars. Instructions forty nine percent of their total See, budget. I, I, Instructions forty nine percent of total yeah. budget. Yeah, and that's the like increase a serious plan. is fifty percent of their total budget. Right. The increase related to wages. Understood. Yeah. So it's right in line. That's why I said there's nothing we can do about it. That's why I made a motion. I, I, the, I, uh, it is I, I agree. What are we going to do? We're going to yeah. talk about it for three days. I agree. And yeah. nothing's going to happen. Right. I agree with you. And we can bring in the superintendent. We can bring in Patty. And guess what? They're not going to change it. It may be that they're not going to change it. The question is, how do we fund it? That's what I think we need. That's, right. that's, that's going to come on the end. Well, how do we fund the capital projects? How do we fund fund this and that? And that's that's why we deplete our free cash down to nothing. And when we get to the we're to have to do the same thing happen. again. You so, can't fund it, you can't fund it. So can we move the question so we can keep going? Yeah. I guess we can. Uh, I mean I'm not satisfied with the budget. I'm have? not either. And so you want to bring Patty and bring her in? Yeah, I don't have a problem with that. And uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not I'll, I'll vote at this point in time. I will vote against it. Uh, okay. Although I think I suspect that will change, but at the moment I'm not prepared to vote for the budget. Like put it that okay. Way. Well, let's yeah. vote and see whatever we got. You're, so you're interested in having Patty come in. Well, and, I, I, I'm interested in taking a good hard look to see whether or not. I, I want to address the issue of look, you you got to stop asking the towns to contribute uh, something in, in addition to the you know three percent someplace along the way, uh, and, and we, you've got the issue of uh, school choice. Uh, I'm not you know I would like to have further clarification on school choice. Uh, I would like to put our two cents worth in and, and say, you, you've got to do something about, uh, from the administrative side, whether it's the elementary schools or the, or, or the high school, uh, the, the number of students that we're losing to uh, charter schools. We, we will always lose kids coming out of the, the eighth grade going to the tech school and, and I don't have a problem with that. Uh, and we will tend to lose a few kids coming out of the eighth grade that will either go to Deerfield Academy or to um, Northfield Mount Hermon. Uh, it's Northfield Mount Hermon, yeah. And uh, those are typically kids that, that are uh, Deerfield students, uh, just sons and daughters of Deerfield teachers. And you know, those would, those kids don't. They, obviously, if they leave, they don't cost the city. Myself, I would like to ask about that insurance. If if yeah. you have a house, husband and wife combination, or whatever the case may be, and there's insurance available from 
a spouse. Mm -hmm. Why? It's in the contract. Should the ta I know it's in the contract, but it's, it's maybe it's we need to. It's done everywhere. It's done at the state level, but they only do. They only reimburse you for. There's not too many school systems that I know have that in, the, in their contract. Well, that's Far the, the biggest between. problem is if they renegotiated their contract, who renegotiated for town dealership for the insurance increase? Uh, the insurance, the, the that's teachers that's do negotiate the, the insurance, uh, mm -hmm. and I believe theirs is an 80% uh, No, what I'm saying, the increase, there was something there was well. Do we we should ask for an answer, a question you're, on that? You're talking about through the Hampshire, yeah. Hampshire. Because there was a change in the insurance plan. The insurance right. the so Barb Barb was our was our representative and voted for the school. Um, no, no, Frontier. no. Oh, you're talking about Frontier. Frontier. Okay. I I mean I don't know I don't know that there was any change in in the uh, the contribution that that Frontier makes to the insurance plan. I mean, one of the things that I would like to ask them to do is to reduce that. At least get it down to, you know, whatever Conway, Sunderland, Waitley, Deerfield, whoever is the highest, and they're they're above. They're paying above that. No, I agree. I agree 100 percent with you about that. But that is all through negotiations. So what yes, are we going to give up to get that? And who's going to go give it up to get that? We're not going to negotiate with Patty. We're not negotiating with the superintendent. Yeah, no, you're right. We have to go to the contract negotiation and be represented. Mm -hmm. We have to stay in our ground. And say this is where we are. Mm -hmm. No, I agree with you, Bruce. I mean, it has to be done through negotiations. Like, we have no other way of. Uh, the only thing we can play with is the operating budget here. I mean, the the capital. No, we, we we can't. We actually can't set, play with that either, since. No. Only one town out of the Right, I understand. And that's the other issue. How many towns does it take to vote this budget? Three. Three out of four. How many towns does it take not to vote the budget? One. Two. 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 Doesn't matter which two. It could be Sunderland and Deerfield. It could be Conway and Waitley. Maybe we should have a joint meeting of the finance committee so the other three towns. That's what I'm thinking. And, and the select. And select. And that's what I think the issue, if we're going to have a meeting at all. And I wouldn't mind having the the school committee and the superintendent come to that as well and talk so that we can get answers to questions. Okay, that's fine. So I I I'll go with that. I agree. With okay, that. I, so that would make more we've sense. Got, we've got the we've got the it's been moved and seconded. The budget has been moved and seconded as presented by the uh, Frontier School Committee. Uh, if there are no further questions, all those in favor of the budget is presented. Say aye. aye. All those opposed? Opposed. Abstentions? One, One two, 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 two. I'm opposed subject to us meeting more. Don't make any difference. That's why I'm saying Can, can, I, qual I, can like I qualify? To, yeah. I would like to I mean, meet. If we're meet. not going to meet, then yeah, vote. Well, Right. Well, yeah. we're, we're, I don't know how to do that. Right. I don't know how to do that. We're obviously going to be at some point. We're not. This is not the last thing we will have. Uh, no, I, not, I meant with I meant with the other towns, or right. Patty, or right. right. And, and you know, I, we need to meet with the other finance committees in the select boards. We we also have we have a tech school budget. Sure, a vote. I like to revisit. I, can we re revisit the vote? What was it? I don't know. Vote? No. Which we one? have a tax school budget. What was the one? No, one, the regional one, vote. One, one, two, two. Oh, so no. it's voted on frontier. No, it's Born not against that. One, one favor, two opposed, two abstentions. Right. Abstentions count as no, no, no. they don't count no, at all. Not. One in favor, two opposed. Okay, so it's a no. No vote. Okay. Uh, we have a tax school budget. You want to hit frontier transportation? Uh, we can. Or do you want to wait? No, that's on all that part group? of that same budget. So yeah. no, we could do that separately if you want to. I, that was the that was, in my mind. There's no sense even discussing it. That's. I mean, that's a contracted amount. I don't think that there's. Well, that was what I was concerned about that discussion. Uh, the contract is up next year in nineteen with Gripco, and he's yeah. not going to do anymore. He's not. That's not true. Not true. That's what was said, though. Who uh, said that? I don't know that that Leonard Jr. is going to be the contractor, but Leonard 
but the, someplace along the way, the, the family is still going to be. Yeah. Okay. I know his that's son. I heard that. I know his son has a battle boss. I heard the son is interested. I heard the son came back from Boston and he's been working with his. Well, that's good. Right? I mean, I so that's what I heard. Don't know, but yeah, that's yeah. I mean, there was there was a whole bunch of questions relative to what we're going to do because this budget could drastically right. increase. Right. But whatever we give to Frontier, they got to deal with it. Yeah. Well, next year is fine, but the year after is fine. right. So three three fifteen fifty eight hundred. Is it transportation? Uh, yes. 70,386. Yeah. It's contractor, right? We have no choice? Yeah, well, we have a choice, but I don't think they're not. You can vote no and what good you're going to do. That's right. We're talking about it. It is a $14,000 increase, but as somebody said at the, at the town meeting last year, 11000 bucks. you know, what are you talking about? We're wasting your time on it. <laughs> I'd rather waste my time on the 400 and... What's uh, it based on? Number of buses? Contract. Or? I don't know. They put out a contract for so many students and Somebody routes. Students, so many miles. Anybody that's a mile away from the school, you it's have it. to provide a seat on a bus for them. Right. Even if they don't use the contract. The contract, contract that they pay per day. So that's a certain amount that they pay per day, and I'm sure it's it's whatever the amount is is based on the uh, route the that that particular bus takes. Number of students. So in other words, they might have a bus with only six students on it, but it's still got to go that route. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Correct. And parents love to bring their kids to school. Yep. Elementary school too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we pay twenty-five thousand dollars so they can put a turnaround in at the end. That's right. School. That's right. Okay. Does, do, do we? We have we're gonna, we're, gonna take, we're gonna take transportation up. We're gonna yes. skip that. Okay. Somebody make a motion. I'll make a motion. I'll second it. So it, it's moved and seconded. Seventy thousand one hundred or three hundred eighty-six dollars for transportation. Any discussion? All those in favor? All right. Aye. 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 Opposed. Is that uh, one, two, three, four? That's five zero zero. First time. All right. On a roll. <laughs> you want to turn it again? Somebody's got to post this. A tech school. You've got the two uh, tech school figures. What's the uh, we, we voted, What's the number? We voted the assessment. The assessment's been voted. So the oh, only yeah. thing that was tabled was That's the, right. the uh, tech capital. That's right. The capital. What's the number, please? It is. 20, uh, 50, yeah. Thank you. In the minutes is an explanation why we tabled it. Yes. Um, and, and we did. We did. So we verified it is an article. There, yeah, there was, it was a 2015 special, or special 2016. election. Yes, it was an election in oh. 2015. Yeah, that, that's the uh, not the prop the proposition two and a half override the debt exclusion vote. Correct. So we voted it. Yeah, so, so don't really have a choice. Right. This is this is the first year of, of 20 years on that. Right. Yeah. So somebody want to make? I'll a make a motion for the six, 16, 5, 12. 16, second. 5, 12. So moved, seconded. Any discussion? There's no discussion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Is there a distension? So it's five zero zero. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Health um, I just left that yellow just in case you wanted to revisit it. I, doesn't matter to me, but so it was reduced by thirteen thousand. So when the, when this committee recommended it initially, it was um, uh, I can't remember the amount that was asked for, but it was eleven thousand dollars more than what this committee voted for because this committee decided that we didn't want to oh, um, right, right. fund the um we don't want mosquitoes. To kill mosquitoes okay so then it went to the select board and the select board said well we want to add to the tick testing there was 1500 in there for tick testing they decided they wanted to make it 4000 so they brought that up by 2500 
So I brought it back here asking if you wanted to reconsider what you had originally voted and when we were here last week the committee had said now we don't want to revisit it. That's correct. There's but no I, way to vote. That's what we but said. I left it just in case, mm -hmm. you know, I, it's, yeah. I, I would like to, you know, have the selectmen come talk with us at some point in time. One of the things that I want to tell the selectmen is, look, you, you're the ones that, that actually approved that, that statement that said, you will have your budgets by a particular date. So when you come in in, in in February or whatever it is and say you want to change your budgets, it's it's too late. You should have thought of that in this I mean that's that's other than just not liking the mosquitoes and the ticks. Uh, so our vote of we voted we voted we back on February 14th, and we passed that with 11,000 lots. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. And I'm I'm satisfied with that. I am too. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna not bring this up again. Okay. We're done. Okay. Say that again, John. So I have my numbers right. It's on the, it's on the chart. The uh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna say we voted. We did. We voted on the 14th of February, uh, 26,846. Yeah. In the red. Yeah, that's on page yeah. three. Yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Do you want to look at the capital improvement budget? For twenty six eight forty six, right? Correct. Um, yeah. Bef before we do that, do we are we going to have um, highway coming next week? Uh, I don't know. Um, so. Um, Kevin is out for a while um, okay. for the long term. I, I, we don't know. Um, so Wendy has offered um, to come in and I think speak. We'll take her up on that. Yeah. So she she would like to. No, she's only available Tuesday evening next week. We've got a meeting Tuesday. You do, but I we were I guess her and I were talking earlier, hoping that maybe you would want to consider having your meeting after that after the elementary school meeting, um, so that she could come. Um, that is a night that Zach is also available if you would like him to present his budget. So, just thought it should that out there. What's that? What's the committee's? Are you available? I, I'm, no, I won't. And, and if you wanted to wait till the following week, I'm happy with that. If you wanted to wait so I could be there, that'd be great. Because <coughs> the only night I would have been available was Monday night, and yeah, we would, passed the opportunity to. I would like you to, particularly for, for the. For the the uh, town's budget, no, but for the uh, scanner's budget, I would like to be there. Uh, okay, great. So, okay. so, so we don't have to meet next week. I'd say, I'd except say not. for the uh, the elementary school. The elementary school budget. If we if we can take a look at the uh, capital projects. And CIPC hearing is Wednesday next week. Wednesday next week, okay. right? Okay. That's so right. Forgot about that. Yeah. I'll need lots of copies. I have a feeling of this. How many do you want? Three. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't I always? <laughs> uh, you probably probably maybe, should maybe do thirty. About each. thirty. They're both of them. Between forty, thirty, forty. Okay. I think we're going to have some company. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> is, is that why they didn't speak tonight? I don't know. Oh, okay. They're out well, there now. They're now speaking to the slot. Yeah, I asked you for a long time. I wondered. Oh, they could be. Yeah, that's been my guess. Yeah, there's a bunch in the conference room. That's fine. Oh, okay. Now there's another meeting going on. That's the prerogative. That's CPA. Okay, so we're all set to take the. Uh, Take up the capital plan. Yep. Or is that just, uh, everybody? Yeah, I did. I did. Um, did I print anything for you? No, I didn't no, because I because I decided you could use what was handed out yeah. at the meeting tonight because it's basically you know it's the same numbers. So what am I doing? Uh, I don't know. Did no. you have extra copies? No, I, I wrote on it. Oh, okay. Somewhere. I probably can. There you go. Yes, we have. It. Everybody has this. Yep. Yep. I you have a version of it. What is that? I didn't print myself. That's approved. It's close enough. Yeah, well, we just went over that. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. The one we just went over. 
Yeah, I already put it away. Well, dig it out. We have to vote it. So then we can vote. Uh, the generator. Mm -hmm. How badly do we need a generator? I, we, you, 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 I mean, you guys talked about it obviously, yeah. and I don't know how much you... I was going to say, we needed it about uh, a couple months ago when the electricity went out, and I lost my computer, and Wendy lost hers, and we ended up having to buy new equipment to replace... And you're assuming that generator will kick in in time to save your... Yes, but there, it should. But before, we need the generator, and before you actually provide power to the... Do you have UPS computers. Computers on it? Yes, but my UPS was only uh, only lasted two minutes, and I don't know how long hers lasted. You need, you need an intermediary. That's why we bought new UPSs. You need an intermediary unit that will stabilize the, the power. Okay. That's part of the UPS. Yeah, but that's not enough, though. So. We need a regular, like a, a big unit. You just can't have individual UPS units, right? That's what you're talking about? Yeah, I mean, you got to oversize the UPS. You got to oversize and there is central. And, and, yeah, oh, and you're talking about the And you should shut down your computer every time you leave your desk. Right. Yeah, right. The, part of the justification was for that generator uh, was the town hall slash PD police department mm -hmm. is considered an emergency command center during times of weather events among other emergencies. When they change out. So, and, well, that's... What well, we always use was, we always use the fire station. Well, suppose Because that's where we have all the extra phone right. lines hooked up in that uh, main conference room. Now that's, they're saying that this is a, a command center. change set. that again. Yeah, they changed okay. it again. But the schools were gonna get one too, and I don't know what happened. The schools never got their room. Uh, no, no, that's, they that wanted it as a, they wanted the school wanted it for a shelter. Right. Correct. And that's without a generator you can't consider it a shelter. Right. So the, but the then I, but is, then I think supposedly it, the present emergency generator is not able to supply the power for both sides of the town hall and police department. Uh, at the present time the existing generator can do the town hall side to provide heat in very limited outlets. On the police side, no heat in very limited out, outlets. Correct. So that's part of the justification. There was a letter accompanied it with it by uh, Wayne Shaw, the wire inspector, and uh, he assessed it and just said it was an older, older generator, 80 kW uh, generator. And there is no automatic testing, exercising within the system, doesn't have the capability. Is it gas? Or and then it doesn't have an automatic transfer switch? Right. Then the gen set powers, the two panels in the same room, right. feeds mostly circuits serving the police department. The boiler, circulating pumps, and at least one air handler on the generator so the PD would have heat in the heating system, but there'd be no air conditioning for anybody uh, in this building. And then currently the room, uh, there's only room for four additional circuits in the current panels, so very little could be added for the current setup. So it's more than just a generator. Right, so well, yeah. no, a gen a, the new generator would, would have the ability to. We put a new panel there. I don't know. It's so you, serve, you, John, do you think they yeah. need a new panel, or is this is this the existing? I haven't even looked at it, so I no. have no idea. Well, it just sounds like they have some. They have they have three options here, way to go, and, and basically uh, because they went out. And this had is a contract. This is the cheapest one, right? They had a contractor. Well, yeah, who knows? You know, they'll they'll have to go out to bid anyway. So, but uh, they had three options as far as uh, either. Uh, 80 kilowatt uh, Kohler natural gas generator, uh, a diesel generator, or a 100 uh, Kohler natural gas. So there's three options. Uh, they uh, If they already got an 80, there's no sense buying another 80. Right, well they had prices involved and then, and then uh, let's see, on the prices it did not, 
35,000, 35,000, 39,000 respectively. Uh, the prices did not include the transfer switch or meter work. Uh, so there's a proposal for that. And it does not include any gas piping trenching for gas piping or electrical or any permit fees. But the fifty three thousand dollars does. But the fifty three thousand all inclusive including excavation in that. I guess my, my gut feeling on it is that as a general rule, I think it makes some sense. What what doesn't make sense to me is does it make sense to put fifty three thousand dollars into this building? Yeah, that was you're, not gonna, you're not gonna change it in the next I, ten years, so right. well, I don't know if you are not, but yeah, yeah. You, you're right. It's not gonna change right. tomorrow, that's for sure. That was discussed in the in committee and mm -hmm. and uh, that came up and we came to the same conclusion that John just mentioned. You're probably not gonna move out of this building for a while. And supposedly that, that generator you could be move over to the church. Right. That could be transferable, supposedly that generator. Could we just send the selectman over to the church? All right, there we go. So, but, all right. What do you think, Cox? What do you want? Separate? Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Big Marsh Rick, pass this one then. So that's a motion for fifty-three thousand dollars. Somebody want to second it? I second it. <coughs> all those in favor? Fifty-three thousand dollars for generator. Aye. 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 All those opposed? <coughs> Extensions? Is that 302? Yeah, it's. Okay. Well, you have to. <coughs> Did you vote in favor? Yeah, I voted in favor. No, 401. You voted, you, you stayed. Abstain. Okay. Yeah, well, that's what I thought. Yeah, okay. Sorry. On foot you lost. <coughs> Senior Center. I don't uh, want to get into. I make a motion. We, I don't know. I look at, I, can I just speak? I mean, we, they had a committee of seven people went through these. I. Just question whether we really need to take the time to go over them again. That's my, I agree that's, with you. That's we, my feeling. We should take one vote for the whole thing. Yeah. Well, if somebody wants to make a, you know, I second John's motion for eighty-three hundred dollars, right? No, all of them. No. <laughs> you can vote no. Oh, that's true. You don't want to talk about the uh, the truck. Right no, no. I already talked uh, about it. On the, okay, the uh, senior, so let me raise my concerns about the senior center. That was in part because of carpeting and when you pull up the old carpeting, asbestos, uh, tire. There's asbestos, some asbestos tire. underneath and when it comes up, Why you not cannot, just cover the whole you thing with carpet. Not not you can't. Walk. Not anymore because they already pulled some of it up. Right. It's already exposed. The company's in there, it's already exposed, so now they have to deal with it. And as that comes as up, as soon as you know it's there, you right. your problem. And as soon as it, all right, I'm not going right. It. So unfortunately, that and that's the only reason why that 83 is there, okay. because if you run into a little bit of cost overrun, this is best all the way through that building. Right, of course it is. Highway mower. Any questions on the highway mower? No. No. Uh, transfer station fence. No. Uh, yeah, I have a problem with in and out. I don't think we need it because that's that's. Uh, uh, it basically doesn't add any additional. Cost. I think it's going to cause a problem with people learning how to do it. It's going to be an accident. Which way you're going to go? People not thinking about people going the other direction, coming quick. There's only so much space in between it's in and out. Maybe 50 feet. Oh, they might. They might separate those a little. Even bit 50 quick. feet. I understand right. they're going to put the the entrance down. The other end, or the exit what? down at the other right. end. Right. So the the salt shed? No, on the other end of the. Yeah, right, right. And because that was the entrance, and then you came right. in, and then you exited the current entrance and exit. They have, looking but at the traffic flow, we would like to add another gate okay. entrance so, and right. have the existing entrance become an exit only. Right. And so that's included in the quote. So what they're trying to do is establish an entrance and an exit. So the traffic flow flows better instead of getting the congestion. Right. And that's I fine. can't. Okay, I, I, I can only. No, that's fine. Compactor. Any questions on the compactor? I, yeah, I I still have a question. I went up and looked at that compactor last Saturday. Are they? Is everything that's coming out of there? Uh, the the chute, the metal, and the, and the compactor itself. 
because the shoe know. is is is, is yeah, almost know, needs to be replaced. Right. I don't know if and then the, the metal that holds the shoe in is bent at least thirty degrees, and it's an inch, almost an inch thick sheet metal. And I'm not sure how that is, how it affects anything. Supposedly, they're just going to be able to replace replace that unit. The town has been renting compactors since transfer right. station yeah. bedding says that the cost related to rentals could have paid for five compactors. The area for the new compactor will be on the concrete yeah. pad next to the paper compactors. The area already has a sub panel installed. Just electrical will be needed to uh, uh, will be Final connected plan. from sub panel to compactor. So we're moving the That's compactor. Ah, so that's okay. We're going yeah. from a rental to a right. place. No, from the place physically the location. Location right. is yeah. changing. To the pad, to right the, next to the paper. Right. Right. And this will save money on the rentals and will pay for itself within four so years that, and make it more efficient for the attendants. So going up the hill. So the, the attendants are having trouble walking up the hill. No, how do you get the trash into the top of the compactor? Yeah. <laughs> put one of those seats and they get on and right up. I don't know. I, I, I didn't ask. Did you ask? No, I didn't ask how it was going to be, I uh, how it was going to be I don't know. put up above. I, I kind of get to the point well, of saying there's a limit to my... To me, there's, a, there's an eight-foot drop right now. And now if they're going to put it on a flat pad, you got to throw that bag up eight feet. you got to stand on your hood. Everybody's going to, everybody's going to go to small bags. I think that's the reason. It's a ploy to get us all to exercise. Yeah, that's right. No, it's yeah. a ploy to get sell the small so bags. So what do you want to do with the compactor? That's it. It is. It's a compactor. That's where it is. Better to own it than to rent it. No, I agree. I agree. I just don't understand the location. The, the, uh, the truck. We can talk about the truck. I think, I guess I think we need some sort of truck. Uh, you guys have looked at it. There are some other things that I have, I have a problem with it with a 20 year old truck that only has 53,000 miles on it. Then you can buy it. And, well, no, but that's that's less than 3,000 miles a year. And Even I'll if you're plowing at 20 on. miles an hour, you're talking 80 hours of plowing time a year. I saw the pictures of that frame. Uh, I agree. I agree. It's with maintenance. You. It's not the. It's not the reason they're getting rid of the truck. It's not because of the mileage. Not be, it's because they got to put too much money into it. Well, I, all the, you know, the 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 entire frame has to be re, redone. All the lines have to be redone. We're talking, from what I understand, significant amount of money to bring that truck up to the snow. But that could be done. It still could be used. Well, even even with that though, there there are other issues with it too. That. You know, just because of the longevity of the truck. But you can but I did it's twenty years old. Right. Well, I did become surprised. I know it is. It is an issue. Money is I, I did. Yeah. I did uh, talk to a couple of private contractors that I know quite well, and they told me that the price for the truck and what they were looking for in that was not out of line. No, I don't and think it's out of line. They also said. They also said that uh, that the Plowing does really have, uh, really hammers a truck. There's no question about it. But the maintenance comes down. Now, my my question is, and I was planning on trying to talk to Kevin a little bit, is in the winter months, obviously, no. obviously you have the salt, salt and sand, mm -hmm. and that adds to a lot of the problem that well, we saw it's all underneath. Salt now. Right, it's all salt now. So it's and they don't wash it. Right. You, it comes down to maintenance and washing and that in the winter time if you're don't if you don't have an inside bay outside bay they some people inside will, bay they just right. don't have the washing equipment right they can even if they drop it. the washing equipment in they're gonna the salt is right. got no place to go no place to go other than the sure. corners and run away right. the steel structure but i was wondering in a lot of garages with them i was wondering if problem. there's seeing how we have a lot of of uh, Companies around that deal with trucks, large yeah. trucks. It's Do they have wash bays for those companies? Or in the industrial park, the truck means. And they should can be we somehow, way, shape, or form, make an arrangement to be able to I run agree. those trucks through yep. every couple of weeks 
No, I see to get the undercarriage and that and get those cleaned up and be done with it so we don't run into as much corrosion. And I was planning on talking to Kevin with that, but it just That's it's just a thought. But I agree. The only problem I would have with the truck is is the uh, the additional plow to Yeah, the wing plow the wing plow to to lower the um, banks snow banks. push them back a little right. bit. Yeah. I, I just don't see it. We, we don't get that much snow anymore. So Even if we did on Route 91, it doesn't do them much good. Right, that was my well, it, But there, it might do some good, but it doesn't. It certainly doesn't do much good to try to go up and down uh, Sugarloaf Street or Main Street. No, no. because you you put it on sidewalks. Uh, the only place still on the road, River Road, River Road, still on the road. And that's why I asked Kevin yeah, also. You get be a lot of wind to... blown through there because of the fields, right. Mill Village. Um, but that's all plowed and pushed beyond the bank. I don't mind. I don't mind this truck. I think it going out in the future. Question whether or not we should be using this size vehicle. I see an awful lot of uh, uh, F550s, uh, dump, oh. small dump, small dump trucks with plows on them in other towns, and they they sure they don't last so long. But then again, you're not spending two hundred bucks, two hundred thousand dollars for one either. So. You know, seeing Gully Road, how wide it is. And we're from 12 to 18 feet. They had a big truck on it this morning. Yeah, yeah. and did, did you have to go into the snowbank to? Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. So, hmm. all right. Well, I also think, and we discussed once again, do we need to really look at um, having subcontractors just well, do that. more of the plowing. Wait, wait. Would that be cost effective? Oh, or, or a smaller truck? So just do right. well, that's, uh, okay. okay. thing that we uh, should discuss. Uh, Somebody's okay. going to push a pencil. Oh, the tornado. Trucks. 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 Cool. Are we all set with the truck at this point? Yeah. Okay. Uh, senior center, you set with that or you want? I think I got it. Okay. Uh, Deerfield Elementary School. Uh, my two cents worth on that is, look, go get a contract to do the whole damn thing. Come back to the to the finance committee. We've got money at the end of the year in the uh, in the reserve fund. Let's just fund the whole damn thing. Again. Didn't we vote? We voted. Sorry, it was voted last year for three, three years. years. It's Probably just spreading voted. the spending out for well, three years. So we can, we can just tell us spend it all at once. Well, let's say yes. But okay. can we rescind? Couldn't rescind any one of those years. No. If they're not spending the money, like if they're not spending money in year two, no, that was we a can't. That was my question because it's held the continuing. Yeah. yeah oh, uh, well, it's it's at the end of the fiscal year. I get information from the department heads whether they right. want to carry those forward, whether they're planning to use them or not, okay. and then. I usually go to the town administrator and say, okay, do you agree with all these? If there's a problem with any one of them, then she will go to whoever and talk to them and so on and so forth. Um, so if they weren't spending their allocation, it could be brought to your attention, could be brought to Wendy's attention and say, instead of voting a third year <clears throat> of the three years, could you, could you hold that? Could you vote not to? appropriate the third installment I, I don't know that I don't okay. know that answer I, just, I don't know I'm what's just the talking, town I'm talking for the financial right yeah, I don't know what the town voted did the town vote for that's what I don't 17,000 times three whatever that number is last year or right. did we vote 17,000 I, I don't remember what we that have to go look either way I think off top of my head maybe there's some way we can find that we can just get this thing taken care of does anybody object to doing that? Just getting the whole thing no. done and over with. I mean, I, instead of playing games with it, and, you know. I mean, if there's an issue with the door, it's got to be fixed. Yeah, yeah. And if they've only, I realize they've only spent out of the twenty, thirty something thousand, seven thousand. Thirty-seven thousand five hundred dollars. That was my point. Because I That's, haven't even seen their bills for February yet. Right. So, so they did for so school right. vacation. So they had people in there. Right. But you can't and, spend thirty thousand dollars. Supposedly they week. have till the end of June. Correct. Right. So, right. so there's that. But that's right. still well. They, no, they can carry that they over. Can carry they can carry it. Oh yeah, they could. Right. Yeah, they could carry, carry that over. Right. Yeah, summer. that's true. It's appropriate. Right. It's appropriate. The other problem is once you give it to the schools, they don't have to give it back to you. Right. 
Yeah. Well, the elementary school does. They don't have to. They, they, can't, they, can't, well, they shouldn't well. be able to spend it for anything other than what's here. Well, right. Trevor is aware of it and Ken is aware Fr of it. Frontier is to story. them both yeah. about it. Okay. And I also sent an email to them saying that we were concerned with the money that had been appropriated. And if it's not being spent, there's probably an issue there. And we should know about it. Yeah, I think the issue had to be, has to be bid. Okay, so if we're all set so with these, already a bid somewhere. Can we Should vote be. the three hundred seventy-five thousand eight hundred ninety-five? Three hundred seventy-five thousand eight hundred ninety-five dollars. Yes, that's the number that we need to vote, right? Yeah. Yes. There was a motion and a second. John, you made the motion before you continue with your motion. Is there a second? I think John seconded. I thought it would. You, no. Yeah. John we'll motion. I'll second it. We do. Have a, who, so who made the motion? I did. Okay. Yep. Original. Second. All those in favor. Aye. Aye. Opposed? So it's 5 0. Zero. Okay. All right. That's taken care of. Uh, capital stabilization. I don't think we need to take that up in any great so We need to come to a conclusion at this point in time, but I think some thoughts should be going on. I get concerned I, with the I, I am concerned with the problem. And I'm concerned with 500,000. I'm concerned that now, so you know, I'm sitting in the finance on the finance committee. I'm concerned <laughs> with. I'm I couldn't with say that out there, though. Point total now. Hey, it's, it's a good segue into where we're at. So, I'm concerned with the 1.8 million dollars we have in free cash. That's what my concern is. Mm -hmm. How that is spent or not? Go right down or nothing. Um, no, it isn't. So it's going to it's going to go to nothing. Right. Yeah. Huh? I know. Right. Right. But yeah, no, I certainly hear your thought there, and, and uh, I wasn't going to point you. But you know, it's one of those things that I think we do need to discuss. And and we we just did it last year, and we we threw the money in there, and uh, I know what I thought it for how we were going to do it, but I. I thought the 200000 was an annual appropriation. So I sort of thought that was. Year to, year. It, to be honest it, with you, John, we, that's what we I were thought. Gonna, so then we're going to start say doing I'm withdrawals at some point. At some point in time. So how much do we build it up to before we start telling the Capital Improvement Committee, look, you need to take one well, here. here. Like OPEP. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> Did you say that? Uh, I, I feel the same way, but until we have all the departments given a long Rain five to ten year capital expenditure plan. CIPC doesn't know how much money they need. Well, but they asked for it, and they they used we used to have a five year plan that, and it wasn't it wasn't much it wasn't any more detailed than this. But there was a five year plan out there. Well, with this five year plan, you don't need much money. And well, I oh, know, but this we still definitely need some work. There's no question about it. But if you look at what we spent for capital over the last four or five years, you can see we don't spend two hundred thousand dollars on average. I agree. So uh, you know, it's maybe something. The only, the only reason we're spending money this time, you got two hundred thousand dollars in a truck, and that's why maybe they can turn around, and take some Chapter ninety money and spend some money on there. Then we're under two hundred thousand. I mean, if if they actually do what they're what Kevin told me they're going to do for roads, and he gave me a whole list of roads. Yeah, they, they don't have any money for a truck. Yeah, it, it, it's like if you actually do those roads, if you actually repave those roads and legitimately repave them, and, and we're, not do uh, five hundred feet of something here, and then then uh, well, we got eight hundred thousand dollars. This year coming up? No. no. Three? Three hundred. Two, uh, three, 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 Read off that he was reading through. Well, when I so talked it to sounds like there's a pavement plan. No, there's I a pavement. We should there's have a pavement plan, and I would agree. We should have uh, a copy of it. And and maybe when he's able to come in, I think we could. Maybe you know Wendy what? can. Uh, Northboro, the capital improvement planning committee, has to approve the pavement plan. Exactly. They no. voted. They voted. No. Yeah, they do. They, 
Where? It, but, North but, is, Borough. but is it money oh, okay. that's coming from Chapter 90 or is it not? Is it? I don't know. I, I, don't I, know. I, would, agree, I would agree that, that long term, I would so say that. Chapter 90 money. What's that? Slugging has to approve Chapter 90. Hmm? Do you care where we're at overall? Right. The big picture? Yeah. Big so, big. so wait a minute. Well, yeah, we, did sorry, vote, we did vote this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to discuss the capital request on another time. The uh, the five hundred. I think yes. we're waiting yes. until the end. Right. Until we I agree. Uh, and John wanted to tell us what, what, what you got. Well, well I got how much money you were short. And based on two hundred and seventy thousand. Seven hundred ninety-five thousand. If you take their five hundred thousand capital request. Um, we're not taking that yet. And there yeah, was another was not, twenty five thousand there was another twenty five thousand added. But the revenue yeah. for this the revenue sheet Which was, was not fifteen quite million nice. two sixty eight. Mm -hmm. Add that, then you subtract the budget on here of fourteen million seven twenty four. So where's the fifteen two sixty eight come from? Was that the number? That was the that's the sheet here, the revenue and detail. All right. Yeah. You subtract the warrants on here, eight hundred fourteen thousand, and then we add a twenty-five to that tonight. So you subtract that twenty-five. Yeah, twenty-five thousand. You subtract the five hundred thousand capital stabilization, and we're in the negative seven hundred ninety-five thousand. But that leaves. Which no, two hundred ninety-five thousand. What you're saying, without the capital stabilization. Without the capital, yeah. Without the capital stabilization, but that leaves a million in free cash. And if we're going to go by the rule that, what are we, 7% like, or 5%? 5%. Right. Oh, 5%. 5 that's, that, that's like about another 250000 we could take out of free cash to use. So without the capital stabilization, we're about to break even. Mm -hmm. Now, next question is, so, but I, what about if the library goes and requests on an article 633000 Or does that leave us? Or they want to do the sidewalks, right? Or any, anything, anything any else? Incentives. Anything any, else? Any of those incentives? Anything right? else? All of those. That's what I'm saying. We don't have the money. So what will happen? We will have all the requests, and we'll know what the warrant articles are. Conway is in, in, the, in that position right now. They have their budgets finalized. Yeah, their warrants prepared, and the ninety-two thousand dollars short. Of what they can do without doing no work. Now they're going back and looking at reducing stabilization and taking money from general stabilization to fill the gap. Right. That's what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Always. Conway. That's what they're looking at. That's what they're looking at. That's an option. And, and for who wants to take money from general stabilization to, to well, put for Conway, I, I mean, they have a lot of stabilization accounts. Well, they also. A number of years ago, I, I, as I understand it, it, it always confused me, but when they built the school, they did a two and a half override as opposed to a debt exclusion. That's what I was told. Now, whether that, so what that did was obviously it raised up Raised it permanently. Every permanently. year. Every year, yeah. Now they've actually eaten through that whole thing. Yeah, that's true. That's so, true. so they. But we're in the same position this year. Well, except that we no, did we not do it. free cash to use. We did it. We do it. Right. We do, we do, we do use override. Yeah, without putting free cash in. We, so we have $750,000 of free cash, basically, that wouldn't be used. Well, we need now, to. And just a, just a reminder to all of you, you left 600000 on the table last yep. year which is why we have what we have this year and you complain every year that we have way too much free cash. Well then use it for the things that we No, I never complain. To do. No, but we need no, we need to we need to take You're right. I, I do complain. Just, that's all I'm going to say. 600,000 we carried over. We carried that over because we under as far as I'm concerned because we underestimated by about that amount, half a million dollars. The uh, local receipts. Yes. So that's that's why we need to carry over a ch large chunk of free cash. No. Yes. The opposite it's reason. The opposite reason. The opposite reason. I agree with you. You you, you budget conservatively right. on your on your receipts 
right. so that you do get free cash. And, and, so, we, and we filled in behind that with free cash. But we no. actually did fill in the budget with free cash. Okay, I'll take that yeah. back. Yeah. I'll take yeah. that yeah. back. You're, I, I, I understand yeah, what you're yeah, saying, yeah. but it wasn't that. Yeah. 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 I agree with you. So, so I'm just saying, we have all of these needs I in like the town of Deerfield. <laughs> Let's start taking care of them so that we can we can uh, continue to move forward and do you have be suggestion? healthy. Do you have a suggestion on what we should keep for free cash for sending the total budget? I, you know, I wasn't. Did I the wasn't, OR say anything about no, it? No, no. They're they're happy with it. Five percent. Tom, Tommy Tommy Scale is probably the one that would be there. Well, I mean, getting his two cents worth at least. I mean, do we bring it down to a hundred thousand dollars and, and I think Absolutely that's too not. skimpy. Say you have a hurricane right. come up yeah, here and it's three hundred thousand dollars, you don't have it. Right. No. Need. So, so that would go into stabilization. So that would give you seven hundred thousand dollars to reduce the budget. That's right. It would. So my feeling is reduce the budget. Yeah. Leave something in there for the rainy day fund. I agree. That's Leave three hundred thousand in. Yeah. Reduce the total budget. We talked about at least a half a million, if not three quarters. We agreed to keep it down to half a million when it should be seven hundred fifty thousand. That's what I thought. Yeah. All right. You know what? It's late. <laughs> it, it is. Well, we're almost two hours in here. Yeah, we're actually an hour and a half in here. So, so the next meeting is yeah. two weeks from today? Yeah, we do, if that's okay with everybody. Two uh, weeks from is, today. Uh, so no, not today. Two Thursday weeks from What about Wednesday? Wednesday? What's that? Or Tuesday, Tuesday night. night. Oh, what, Thursday. Uh, Thursday. I can't do a Tuesday night. Um, Can you do Wednesday night? Well, what? I don't like to, but I will. We can do a Thursday. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Wednesday night's fine. If 5.30 is fine, if I can leave at 7 to go to my appointments. Your appointments at 7, you know, fine. That gives you enough time? It's okay. Let's do it Thursday. 5.30 Thursday. As the 23rd? At 14 to today. No, that would be the 22nd. 22nd. Would be a Thursday. At what time? 5.30. 5.30. Okay. Now, so well, the, the idea is to have the highway department, uh, Wendy's going to present the highway department, she's probably also going to present the position. Next, next Tuesday, there is the school meeting with the school. Yes. Uh, that, it's at 6 o'clock, we'll probably be over by 7. You guys have any interest in sitting down with the Board of Selectmen afterwards and discussing some of the things that came up here tonight? I don't know if they meet next week. It would be, mm -hmm. it would be a special meeting. Uh, they don't meet next week. Well, we, we can set a meeting. If we can do if, it. If you, if. True. We can join you. If you want to. Is it, early, is it too early to do it or is it? No. We're, we're, we're now. I know we're, we're in the warrant's opening tonight. I think. No, they close next, next week. Closes next week. Fourteenth. Oh, it closes next week. Yeah, it closes okay. next week. Okay. The fourteenth. Well, I, I, you know, Wendy did request articles, so I think um, mm. she's got a list, at least for me, a very long list of things that needed to be in there. And I'm sure right. other people have. Well, I'm just thinking about the oh, articles right. that we would normally have, the yeah. articles that um, we have on our. Yeah, list understand the articles. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, if you if you, if you want to set the meeting for next Wednesday, Tuesday, Tuesday, yeah, be Tuesday means Wednesday. There's a your, your public meeting. meeting with the CIP okay. and the select board. Sorry. You're all more than welcome to come. So might be thank one you of, for the invitation. It might be one of the few meetings that I will attend, but when it comes to the board select, you made a motion to do Yes, I did. Somebody I'll second. second. Aye. 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 